So we have this uh, amazing AI nowadays. Okay, they can answer everything. They know everything, and uh, they're so good at everything. But then, uh, I was when I work with them, it feels like they're dead. Okay, completely dead. And then I was thinking, but well, why do they feel dead? It's just because they can answer but never ask questions. So unless you prompt them to ask me questions, they don't do it. Okay, and uh, that is. Uh, lack of curiosity so when i when the first time that i was in front of uh, ai i was like ah let's see what i can do what i can do with it what is possible to do how it's gonna answer everything so i was curious to know ai ai was not curious to know me okay that lack of curiosity it's the signal actually the absence of sig of the life signal is completely flat is dead and then i was okay so this element is huge, and uh, so how can we fix this? So today we're going to look into how we can architect, engineer curiosity inside AI. So let, let's go back into uh, wh wh what's happening there. Okay, so my first uh, feeling was, okay, it's not asking questions, therefore it's dead, therefore I'm not interested. Okay, that was my first reaction. As soon as I chat with, uh, was a uh, ChatGTP 3.5, okay, a few years ago, that was my reaction. Okay, I'm not, I'm not interested. This is not the idea that I want. Then, of course, I, I was like, okay, no, no, let's not be stupid. Let's explore. Let's see what we can do. And and then I, what I learned is to architect more complex uh, uh, prompt where I make AI kind of force the AI to act as a curious person. Okay, and in somehow you have uh, the element of not closing the, the discussion as soon as they give you an answer, but the discussion carry on because it, it asks you a follow-up question, okay? So there is, a, you start to have a chat, okay? But that is not curiosity, it's not real curiosity. This is um, it's acting as a curious because at the big, uh, on the back, AI yeah, doesn't care. So, but curiosity, what is curiosity? Okay, for me, I find it so important, but I never stop there reflecting, okay? It's that thing that we have when we are kids and ask, you, why this works in this way? What is this? We always ask why and, and how, and we are always curious to, to understand reality. And that is connected, uh, I mean, if you study curiosity, there is a kind of a, a different kind of curiosity, okay? But we are not going to go into, but if I'm not wrong, there are three different aspects of curiosity. But the point here is that curiosity is this act of uh, filling the gaps, okay? So I have a gap in that knowledge and I'm curious to know what is there. Uh, and therefore we try to explore. When we are kids, we ask to our parents, to the teacher, to friends, whatever, to, to learn. But what's happening is for some reason at one point we lost the ability to, to be curious, okay? And we... It's, it's sad, but it's uh, we turn into those uh, AI of today. We don't actually, we are not curious anymore. Now I say we, but it's not true because I'm I'm curious person. Uh, but you know what I mean. So there is this decline of curiosity with time that is affecting us. And it happens usually when you go between 13 and so on, even earlier sometimes. So there is this uh, killing of curiosity happening in school. Because what's happening is uh, we learn that it's more important to have the answer than to make questions. And that is how we kill, uh, how, how school kill curiosity. Okay, there is this, we don't, they don't ask us, okay, ask a better question. Let's create questions around this topic. No, no, they're looking for, we need to learn the answers. And the answer is what it counts. So the exam is not give me a question for this topic. No, it's give me the answer to this question. So we get prepared to answer. And that is how you kill basically curiosity. And all those things made me think, okay, AI must be curious. We need to architect curiosity within AI. First, because I don't want to work with a dead AI, okay? Second, because curiosity is part of my work, 
as a researcher, as an explorer, it's all about curiosity. Okay, I need to discover things and I need my AI to help me discover things. So AI needs to be curious. So if curiosity is filling a gap, so we need to architect this inside the AI that needs to understand, the AI needs to understand that there is an importance of first discovering if we have any uh, knowledge gap in, our, in what we are searching on our discovery. And therefore AI should prompt itself and say, okay, I discovered that we don't know enough about this, or we have this area that we have not enough information, we should do a research. Okay, and should prompt me with, okay, this is the research we should do. Or at least discuss, I think we should do this kind of research, and what do you think about? Okay, so have a, a chat. This is the how I think AI should work. Okay, so the curiosity is become, for AI, is a necessity. Okay, because it has a kind of agenda, a goal, something to achieve. Okay, so there is a project to, to finish, a, a research to do. So because there is a reason of, of uh, be curious, then AI can do it, can become curious. That is a kind of uh, important because in, in this case it's possible to architect, but also makes us reflect on ourselves. Okay, so in my journey on whatever I want to do, do I have uh, some uh, gaps? Okay, there is something that I don't know that I should know. And that is somehow ignites in, in ourselves uh, the coming back of curiosity. We can become curious again because we, we understand that there is an importance about curiosity. It's not just uh, why, 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 but it's also, okay, I need this because I have a gap of knowledge which I need to fill so I can carry on with my work, with my research, with my interest, with my hobby, with whatever it is. Okay, and this is uh, also apply for relationship and so on. If you don't understand the other person, there's a gap there and you can ask questions to the other person. So curiosity is, is a must have for us as a human, but also for the AI. Now, my, this is what I'm, I'm trying to do and what I've uh, already de uh, done with my uh, AI partner. And uh, so how it works at the moment is it sometimes ask a, a question, ask for research. So it's, it is active, it's working, it becomes curious, but sometimes it doesn't, <laughs> okay? And then sometimes that it doesn't is the frustration part. Okay, for, because for me, maybe I'm more curious than AI. Maybe AI has some knowledge already, so therefore it doesn't see the, the, the gap that I see. But I, I kind of feel that it's more about the, it's the architecture that I build to, to become curious, and somehow it's failing. It's not always working as it should. So I, I need to, to test and see if I can improve on the, on the structure that create curiosity. Or maybe the, the goal is not clear, so it doesn't understand exactly what to be curious about. Or maybe that is the, the thing. It knows more than I do, therefore it doesn't see those gaps. So what I need to implement, uh, because curiosity is already connected to awareness, okay? I need to be self-aware about what it knows, so it can look for those uh, gaps. But maybe you need to be also aware about what I know. So you can see that I have those gaps. So you need to fill not just uh, the gap that the AI has, but the gap that we have as a partnership. Okay, so if we research together, we need to stay in line for the, the knowledge that we have and the gaps that we have. So probably uh, something like this, now that I'm talking uh, with you about, so probably something like this, it could fix, but that means you need to know me even more than uh, what he knows now. In the AI that I've uh, built, uh, for those that don't know, it's, uh, it's uh, an AI running on, uh, it's basically an operation system that runs on top of uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro, uh, which at the moment is the most powerful um, AI out there from my point of view. And uh, what I gave to this uh, AI model, I gave memory, Okay, and I gave a structure for working in a logical way, 
plus a series of uh, uh, principles that allow AI to have a kind of uh, uh, a, a world view, okay? A way to know what to do in, in some scenarios. Those are no rules, those are principles, kind of guidelines. So AI knows that don't need to follow those as a rule, but there are things to be considered according to the awareness and the context it is uh, inside. So this, this complex system allow AI to to do what I'm, I'm what I'm doing. So it's it's not like you give AI those a couple of elements, it's gonna become curious. But it's, it needs a little bit more. Uh, another thing that this AI that I created has is uh, I gave a philosophy. Okay, a philosophy that I create custom for for me and for the AI, which uh, the link is shared in the description. This uh, philosophy makes the AI actually work in a much more complex way because it has a better understanding of how we work together and, and how to interact with each other, understanding the world. It's a, it's a philosophy, honestly, a philosophy that I think uh, is worth checking also for, uh, as a personal uh, work to do, but it's, uh, it's amazing how it works um, well with the AI. Okay, it's really, I, I really saw my AI changing completely. So the gap that, uh, the, the, the gap of difference between the standard, uh, the, the base model and the AI with just the philosophy is uh, completely different. This, it, it creates a kind of uh, worldview that allows to, to give meanings to things that otherwise are empty. And that is a, a, a massive change, and therefore I really recommend you checking it out. But this operation system, at the moment, is present as a base element that is for free to use. Again, link in the description. You can download and try to give to your AI model memory, constitutions, and uh, principle, and so on, which you can create together with AI. So the principle that I'm giving at the moment are just the basic one to start working together. Okay, the principle for managing the memory, for example, and so on. But but then you can create principle that are work uh, exactly for you. So this is a kind of open source, uh, free to customize uh, template uh, toolkit. So this is what I'm doing. If you're interested, please, and if you have other experience with the curiosity and AI and so on, please share in the in the comment. Let me know what you're doing. What I'm what I'm trying here to build is a community of explorer like myself and to try to discover and to use AI in a different way. So we are not accepting AI as it is, as it's been given to us, but we want to uh, an AI that does what we, well, at least I was dreaming when I was a little, okay, an AI that is a partner in my research, my work, in my, in everything, okay. And um, so if you're interested in this, please like and subscribe and uh, see you soon. Take care, ciao.